Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news. We're going to be checking out a summary of the latest Star Citizen Live about cargo and hangar updates. Some of these were delayed, so we're going to be talking about that, but obviously we've got a wealth of information there. It's the last chance for you to grab Citizen Con tickets and to get involved with the Overdrive event before the Xenothreat sort of dynamic update takes that over. And Alpha 3.23 has had even more updates, which we will also look at. So, let's start with the Star Citizen newsletter, dated the 19th of April. Citizen Con returns better than ever to Manchester, UK, on the 19th and 20th of October. Don't delay. Premium tickets are now sold out, but general access tickets are still available. The countdown to the biggest Star Citizen event in history starts now. CIG will be giving us details on the very limited gala event on the 18th of October in the coming months. I think you can expect celebrities from the Squadron 42 type of stuff at CitizenCon and that gala. The Overdrive initiative, which is currently live on the live servers of 3.22.1, um, it's the last chance to get involved with that. Phase 5 is currently up and running, as are the other phases before that, uh, and it's the last phase before the Xenothreat final assault, which is scheduled to begin soon after Alpha 3.23 goes live. Not immediately, I think they're giving us a little more time because there's some problems with um, sort of Phase 5 and there's been some server problems in general. Players must complete all five phases before the Xenothreat threat assault begins as their missions will not be available during the event and that's obviously you only must complete them if you want to get the bonuses for completing them which is the upgrade for a um, Hornet F7C to an F7A Mark II the ability to uh, try that out for seven days as well the F7A and get some Xeno threat armor just make sure that you have no overdrive initiative emissions left in your priority tab on your Moby Glass, and hopefully you should be good to go. Alpha 3.23 is now open to Wave 2 testers in the PTU. If you are eligible, fire it up and help sort of with that patch and get it into a state for wider release. So technically it's on the EPTU, just a different drop down from the menu rather than PTU. Bear that in mind. The sneak peek this week is of Maroc, the sort of dinosaur birds, and the Copians, the kind of dog, jackal, hyena things from Alpha 3.23. Really, really looking forward to that patch going live. There's a little way to go, bits to iron out, but it's really getting there. There was also a Star Citizen Live Q&A hangers and cargo which i'm going to summarize here i say i'm going to summarize most of this is taken straight from niku who is the one of the community managers at cig who does a really good job of summarizing these star citizen lives where are we with cargo in 3.23 we're not far off from releasing item banks, personal and instance hangers, freight elevators, and the cargo hauling missions. It's big and hard to estimate all the unknowns, but it will be released in 3.23.x, so in a 3.23 point patch, and it's only a few weeks off. It caused instability, and we want to release a stable 3.23.0 build, the initial live build, so it is better to take more time to make sure that cargo works is stable and is um, in the best possible state before releasing it into the wilds on the live servers so yeah those parts of 3.23 will be coming in a slightly later point patch just bear that in mind how do we prevent unwanted people from getting into our personal hangars in 3.23 so this is the first release of personal hangars there's going to be more work and updates to it in the future but for now players will get a warning if they're not in a party with you and they'll then be kicked out as if they're sort of being impounded like a ship party members will have full access to your hangar even if you're not currently in your hangar we're supposed to be getting a personal hangar that basically is based size wise on the biggest ship in your fleet what if your biggest ship is medium size and then you buy a bigger ship so for this release if you buy a new ship that is bigger than your current hangar you will have a public hangar and not your own hangar when you spawn that ship. So don't leave things in that public hangar like flare and items because they will be removed after you leave that public hangar. So yeah, if you get a larger ship, you basically have a public hangar for it. If you're a party member in hangar of player A, can you use the freight elevator as player B to get your own inventory? You will get your own inventory, but they're still working to improve that feature. Can you change the location of your personal hangar? Not for the initial release. That's going to be whatever you chose as your main spawning zone. That's where you get your, your personal hangar. 
but in the future you'll possibly be able to have multiple hangars all in different locations that are all personal and customizable obviously star citizen is going to be pretty big multiple star systems so there's a balance to find so you can't just summon anything anywhere and they want the logistics to be part of the game but they also want players to benefit from being able to have these personal hangers and choose where to place them what is the occupancy limit in a personal hanger there's no limit nothing stops you from having everyone on a server in your hangar potentially um can we draw weapons in personal hangers no for now it's only tools like the tractor beam maybe in the future in locations like grim hex but we don't want hangers to be fighting areas we'll revisit this once we have more security features though how can we decorate our personal hanger you're going to be able to buy furniture in game and decorate your hanger with that how does manual and automatic loading work a small outpost is not a place where you're going to be going to do a lot of trading. You won't have access to automatic loading in smaller locations. The idea is that those places are for manual loading and unloading um, and sort of a smaller level of trade. The bigger locations, however, will have automatic loading and unloading available as these places are made for high volume trading. We want to differentiate those two sort of styles. There will be different facilities depending on the location, small, medium, large and extra extra large. Even at small outposts, the freight elevators will be very close to the hangar pads, but you will have to move the boxes manually. Auto loading times will be adjusted as they move further into development and it's going to be based on player feedback. Is the mass of cargo still planned to affect ship performance? Yes, but not for Alpha 3.23. They are still actively working on it. Anything that's inside the cargo grid doesn't affect the mass at the moment but in the future they want you to think about how your ship is loaded and how that's going to affect how your ship is handling can we attach anything to the cargo grid ships vehicles and even corpses won't be able to be attached to the cargo grid as long as something is in a box though you will be able to attach it to a cargo grid can you sell the cargo mission boxes elsewhere and effectively steal them from missions so cargo missions will have goods intended to go to precise destinations you will get fined the items will be of a lesser value uh, if you try and sell them elsewhere and the items will get flagged if you intend to sell these cargo boxes elsewhere so you'll basically have to sell them to a fence and um, you'll get a lot less for them ships lift can you call multiple vehicles or ships at the same time not for the first release but you can move the ship slash vehicle elsewhere and then call something else but in the future they plan for you to be able to call up vehicles in the freight elevators i am really looking forward to the cargo updates hangar updates coming to alpha 3.23.x whenever that is hopefully very soon um it, it's going to be within weeks as they said uh, uh, yes it would have been great to have it in the initial release of 3.23 slightly disappointed but there's so much in 3.23 i'm sort of fine with them getting it out and then trying to get the cargo stuff in in the next few weeks that just sort of makes sense talking about alpha 3.23 even more there's uh, a new ept patch that was released on the 19th of april had a load of smaller tweaks and polish i'm um, sort of improving quantum markers and the star map there's been some sub targeting polish so you can sort of target weapons and EMPs, power plants, quantum enforcement devices, things like that. There's been interaction updates for the star map. It's a single click now to select a marker, double click to focus on marker. If you just left click on some empty space, that will minimize panels. There's been some further polish to the interior maps. They've sort of hooked up the remaining control hints. They've made it look a bit better. There's been polish passes for the uh, water interactions and Moby glass. There's been a VFX update for volumetric clouds. So they've basically made the very high settings for them um, have much better visuals and performance. And they've generally made some performance improvement passes and done some bits and bobs with the upscaling and just trying to improve that visually. Boom! That's your updates for Alpha 3.23. What's going on with um, Star Citizen at the moment? Be sure to grab yourself a Citizen Con ticket if you want to go to that event in person. Get involved with those Overdrive initiative missions if you want to get that um, F7A Mark II upgrade for your F7C Mark II. I suspect they'll be running the Overdrive initiative stuff again in the future, probably with the same rewards or similar rewards, so bear that in mind. 
are you excited for Alpha 3.23? Have you been playing it in the second wave of the PTU? What's your experience with all of those features? What about cargo? Are you disappointed that cargo sort of and the hangers got pushed to 3.23.x? Or are you like, ah, that makes sense. That's absolutely fine as long as they do get it out relatively soon. And are you looking forward to those features? Personalization of hangers, deeper cargo sort of uh, gameplay and cargo hauling missions. Oh, all pretty exciting, but I'm really interested to know what you think. Please tell me whatever your thoughts or questions are in the comments below. Welcome to Nordrassic Park. You want to see the wonders of the internet and protect yourself online? Come to Nordrassic Park with the link nordvpn.com slash boardgamer. Or click the ones below. They do move in herds. Nord was so preoccupied whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Not only do you get big savings with that link, but also top tier encryption and servers with no limits or borders. I want to be from sunny old England. I don't know I'm doing an English accent. I am English. Or on the island Nuba, wherever Jurassic Park set, then you can. You can be a clever girl. But remember, you didn't say the magic word. I can't remember any other Jurassic Park quotes. Get NordVPN today. Every month we have a ship giveaway for April. We're giving away a Hornet F7C Mark II, that latest medium fighter. It also comes with a lifetime insurance and a game package, so you can play Star Citizen, bam, just with that. It's all you need to play. And if you get involved with the Overdrive Initiative missions, you may be able to upgrade that to an F7A Mark II. Just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. Every video is effectively another chance to win. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video and thank you so much to the people that support the channel and go that extra mile with the join button under my videos, giving a little bit each month. They get some exclusive content and badges and help shape the channel a little bit, but also help allow us to make a video pretty much every day. There's also Patreon for people that are interested in that. Any of the affiliate links below my videos help support the channel, but so does commenting and liking and subscribing and sharing these videos too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the verse.